Ladies and gentlemen, I have been undergoing some technical difficulties. It's almost as if someone doesn't want me to get the information out. Okay, so we are still watching our potential hurricane that is moving up the mid-Atlantic, right where that 6.3 earthquake was today. Well, actually, it was more like over here. Here? Yeah. That's interesting. Wait, let me pop it up for you. I didn't intend to. All right, latest earthquakes. It was here. Yeah, so it's pretty much the 6.2 earthquake spot. And usually we get them in the crack. So this spot is quite abnormal. And a 6.2, that's what USGS has it at is pretty much under our hurricane spot so that is definitely a area of pressure to watch i would guess and that's what we're doing right now right here and so this now has a 70 percent chance of development in the next five days and 30 percent chance of development in the next 48 hours and so it looks like a whole loop situation we got going on here. And it is headed west and semi-south. And regardless, right now, most of the model, all the models have it not affecting the United States in any way, shape, or form. But as you can see here, even without that hurricane, over the next five days, this chart was a tendency to underdo it. Is making it look like you got a bad swath of rain and flooding coming through from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, up to Maryland, Virginia. So we're gonna keep our eye on that, and we're back over to the hurricane. I'll do separate videos on each individual subject. And right now it's this chunk right here. So that's a whole lot of rain with or without a hurricane or tropical storm or depression. Formation of the tropical type, that thing is gonna cause problems for a lot of people. And it almost looks like a wolf's head. And pink means the ability to drop a whole lot of rain, 10 to 20 inches, depending on how fast or slow it moves. And so, as you can see, they're pointing it towards not only is Puerto Rico mile in the cone, all of these islands. I need to get better geography. But you guys are all need to be watching this thing with hawk's eye and as of right now the models only one model is even saying that it can get to a cat one most of them don't think it'll be much but we prepare for the worst and hope for the best see all of them have it getting close and then taking it out and we've got this weird mother nature creating a giant rain band loop We can watch it spinning up here. And we got all the fancy little glitches. And what is going on here is producing a lot of water vapor and probably rain a little bit up under the electoral electro jet line. I might have said one of those words wrong. So we've got our double loop happening here. This is weirder than anything I've seen, and this would be like a giant fish hurricane. See, there's a head, and yeah, it's a situation. And here's water vapor. I'm going to smoke them if you got them. I'm going to light one now. Cause that's a, I've never seen that much water vapor on this screen. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. And so, this is the 48 hour, and it looks like Texas, we got some red, which could mean along the coast, some tornado activity from 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. And then, on my Twitter, there was just some emergency thing, um, where they are saying, well, A, the majority of California is now under a red flag warning as the fires are tearing everything up in a horrible rate. And then in DFW, 
they're in panic mode, and I saw two of them do it. I don't know what that means. Heavy snow in the panhandle. Cold rain for North Texas. Plan on slowdowns for Monday. AM commute as colder air works in a slow snow mix into, with the rain. Areas from DFW to Northwest could get a dusting on grassy surfaces. Here's the timeline. I don't know, I don't know if that's panic mode. And from Eric Cole's house. Update, the campfire in Northern California is now the deadliest wildfire in state history. 29 dead, 228 missing, 6,713 buildings destroyed. And there are 23,000 people in Calabasas. And the entire city is now under mandatory evacuation. And apparently we have a large problem with on Veterans Day, the veterans haven't been getting their GI benefits for months, and it's causing people to go homeless, which is incredibly sad. And I'm disappointed in our government's response to the situation in the West. It's a big deal, man. All right, so now we're going to look at these two are going to form up, and that's the thing is if the hurricane comes in, if it goes Quetzalcoatl, where this system comes and meets these two systems, which are about to meet and form a Voltron storm, then that could bring it further west. And these are hurricane temperatures, 83 degrees. Still got a ways to travel. Hurricanes are crazy. Rapid intensification. I'd, I got to check in on the wind shear. That would be about the only thing keeping it down right now. and pro Probably sand. And now what we're going to do is I've racked together like eight of the last runs of the hurt of the low here okay the last like eight run models notice how then it had it as nothing and then it had it north and it had it south and it always has it taking it up the coast it has it looping it out but it's a matter of how and then boom see that there's even one more that goes south there so every model is pretty much taking it souther and wester, or south and west. And so that is definitely, with five more days before the storm gets here, having it move from there to, whoa, there, let's do that again, there to there, there to there, in like two and a half days, that is mildly alarming. And I think these two systems are going to hook up. This is the bad storm we're going to have this weekend. So, I'll let, I'll let it all run. But you see what I'm saying? And that is why I'm making this video, because it has moved west and south every single run. So if that pattern continues, and it always gets picked up in the tail, but I think it might meet it sooner. And then I don't know what that moisture is just doing, just hanging out right there. That's going to freak me out. And then we have that rain coming now, but it's a whole lot souther that's hitting California. So this whole system is weird. This is today and tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty bad storm up through Texas, up the coast. Then you got your next storm coming through. And then, like I said, watch this happen in here where it's just rain hovering, hanging out. I don't like the looks of that. And then there's almost a low just kind of hanging out there. Like I said, usually when the rain comes in for California, it comes in from the north and then gets dragged south. So now to see the California moisture coming in from the south, I think it might be that rain band I was talking all about the other night, last night. Time is so weird in 2018. How are you doing? What are you wearing? Boom. Okay, so we will keep watching it. But... Nobody needs to panic because so far, like the Euro saying, oh, it's, it's not going to be much. Uh, the NAB gem is saying, well, it's going to be a whole lot of rain, but it's not going to be a hurricane. And um, the gem is saying, yeah, it's going to be some rain, but it's not a hurricane. Icon saying, yeah, it's just going to be a chunk of rain. That's also saying it's just going to be a storm. But we got to watch it. You know what I'm saying? And there's, notice how it always gets picked up by the tail. And so, we will keep our eyes on the situation. Because this is today. 
Boom, 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 boom. And then it goes up like a claw. And then the moisture continues to trail through. And then a few days later, that goes away. So it's like two storms in... How many days is that? Storm one, storm two. So that's two storms by Friday. And then we'll see what the possible hurricane non hurricane does but i think everybody should know at this point to be very prepared especially when we go back to my very interesting find of that what the heck i'm doing browser that the 6.3 earthquake is almost exactly or it's around yeah it's almost exactly where the hurricane is right now it is. Or it did happen down here. Either way. Let me click one more thing. We'll be done with this one. Yeah, here's this ridge. I'm, I point out sometimes. Because, yep, active volcanoes here. And so, this ridge always kind of interests me. Just because the way it's. I don't know. Very planetary process is going on, and we are getting hit with a coronal wait, fast wind stream right now. Oh yeah, let's look at total cloud water because I was watching that big band behind. Oh dang! How do you zoom out? You're not zooming out, are you? No, you're not. All right. Boom. Whoa. Yeah, so there's that. This is the one I'm watching. They may try to pull it up. That may be the back end of that. If it lashes it like a tail. Who knows? Yesterday it didn't have it doing. I had the rain coming in to California from the north. Either way, that's weird. Totally weird. All right. The energy is still pretty weird. Like, everybody's pretty. That's post election something. And California's in really bad shape. And we're averaging like a natural disaster like every three days. And I don't know. I guess we just got to pray and hang in there and hope that awesome shit happens soon. All right. Everybody stay cool. I will keep you guys updated. God bless everyone.